I got a big secret for you. People in life don't get what they want because they don't know what they want. I want to walk into the greenhouse in the morning with the sun hitting me like this. And I want my old 220, this bad boy right here, to be glistening with a semi-decent aquascape, nothing too fancy. And I want it to have a massive school of some type of fish. And I want to be able to plop down in front of it and spit fish tank fire to you all. So here's what we're working with. This is the old 220 that was in my basement. I'm working with what was once low light is now insanely high light. It's covered with algae and we're gonna unpack the algae situation here in a little bit. It's got one tilapia and this tank needs a lot of work but I think it's going to be extremely fun and it's obviously extremely productive as far as growing plants. But we're gonna get this thing cleaned up a little bit today and we're gonna talk about some potential fish options. But today we're gonna to focus on excavation and how we got to this point. And the morning sun cannot be overstated. It's glorious. The temperature in the greenhouse rises like 10 degrees in like 10 minutes when the sun comes out. And it also hits this tank perfectly. But we've got some work to make sure that we harness the sun properly. So there is a slight challenge with this tank that I don't normally do and you don't see a lot of, and that is this aquarium is going to be viewed from this side and the other side, which is not a huge deal, but it's something that I want to work in. It's not gonna be a fancy aquascape. It's not gonna have a bunch of high light crazy plants. It's gonna have a bunch of plants that can handle temperature swings, slow growers, and I've really never seen bulbitis done properly. I have a ridiculous amount of bulbitis. I have some driftwood, I have some rocks. So I'm going to showcase bulbitis hudalati in here. Fish are secondary. Let's get everything kind of ready for some more of the feature plants. One thing that I didn't notice until yesterday was that I am going to let this run and have a full carpet. So I got enough natural light for a full carpet. So we're gonna accentuate that with a dwarf sag and val uh, running together. And we're gonna remove some, but not all of the algae because I think it's doing me good and this algae is frankly easy to utilize. This algae is easy to remove. So I don't wanna get some like other type of algae that's harder. This one's actually pretty easy to manage. This is perfectly underwater grown. I can get an entire tank looking like this. You just set it alone and leave it alone. And it had a big long stick like this, but this is what it's come back to. So I'm going to get a whole tank looking like this. This is the tail of two plants. It's all the same plant though. This is Bulbitis hudalati that I just affixed to this piece of driftwood and it's gonna go in here. But here's the fun part. This is primarily above water growth on this big monster, but it's gonna come down and it's gonna look like this and it's gonna shrink down and get this really fine underwater growth that I really like. All of those big rhizomes may or may not melt off, but then this will be the covered look throughout this with time. Imagine that covering it like that. It's a better look than this long leggy thing we just put together here, but we'll bite us. I love it. I want to see it in a wild. In it goes. You might be asking yourself, Dustin, why didn't you rip out all of the algae in the tank? Why didn't you add a lot more plants right away? It's very simple. Goes back to that thing in life and in your aquariums we're talking about balance. So I intentionally left some of that big ooey goozy Play-Doh type algae in here because that stuff is doing me good because I was getting a little bit on the glass. So I'm leaving that stuff in there. And I did just add two fish, which is counteractive to what I'm trying to do, but I'm going to add more plants in here little bit by little bit by little bit, increasing the plant load, but then slowly, 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 incrementally increasing the fish load. Don't go adding six fish right away to your 29 gallon aquarium. It'll throw off the balance. Everybody making an awesome week and tank on.